Easter greetings, brothers and sisters. It's a great opportunity, a great time to think about the message of Christ this Easter. As I thought about it, Luke 24 came to mind. The story of the two disciples walking with Jesus down the road on the, to the village of Emmaus. Allow me to read briefly. On the same day, two of Jesus' followers were walking to the village of Emmaus seven miles from Jerusalem. As they walked along, they were talking about everything that had happened. As they talked and discussed these things, Jesus himself suddenly came and began walking with them. But God kept them from recognizing him. He asked them, what are you discussing so intently as you walk along? They stopped short, sadness written across their faces. We see these disciples um, sharing their story. And my, my sharing will be about finding our story in his story. We see these disciples sharing their disappointment, their sadness written all over their faces, as they think, this sadness is shared. It should be shared even with Jesus, who should be part of it. But Jesus is not involved, is not part of their sadness, because Jesus wanted them to join him in his story. And he goes ahead, Jesus then, after asking them and them sharing about Jesus of Nazareth, Funny enough, to Jesus himself, he tells them um, how their minds had been um, shut, that they could not understand the great news and the great narrative, the story of Jesus, the story of Jesus of Nazareth and what he was doing. From before, they even knew things that he was doing to the point where they were at and the things that he was going to do. He says in verse 25, You foolish people, you find it so hard to believe all that the prophets wrote in the scriptures. Wasn't it clearly predicted that the Messiah would have to suffer all these things before entering his glory? Then Jesus in his mercy and grace took them through the writings of Moses and all the prophets explaining from all scriptures the things concerning himself. And friends, this Easter, and this story of Jesus reflects upon our lives. Sometimes we do not know our story. We do not know how our story fits into his story. And it takes the Lord himself coming alongside us. And the problem is that we are not even aware sometimes when he's walking with us. Until he opens our, first he opens the scriptures and we see first his story. And then as we see his story, we find our story in his and he goes ahead as they neared, you know, they sat down and Jesus broke the bread and their eyes were opened. And they, they exclaimed to one another, they say, didn't our hearts burn within us as he talked with us on the road and explained the scriptures to us? And so we need to read the scriptures. We need to get into the scriptures and find what does the Lord say about us? What does the Lord say about our experiences? Where is he taking us in this big narrative? That we are participating in. Our story is not lost. Our story should be found in his story. And his story should be found in our story. Because as that happens, then our hearts are stirred to the agenda of God. And I want us this Easter to reflect what's God's agenda on our lives. Our disappointments, our joys, our not so good stories. What's his story? Where is it found in our story? And unless we spend time with Jesus, friends, we will miss that mark. We will think that our story is nowhere in his story. So let's find time to be found with Jesus as he opens scriptures, that our hearts would burn as these scriptures are opened, because the scriptures now burn in our hearts because they have life. Because the author of the scriptures, John says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. As Jesus, the word revealed, opens the word written, then we find our story and we find our joy. And I like what the disciples did. They did not just sit there and say, well, that was a great experience. They actually got back and traveled back to Jerusalem. They had already made it to their destination, but they went back and they found the, disciples, the other disciples gathered and they said, the Lord is really risen. He has appeared to Peter. 
Then the two in verse 35 says, Then the two told the story of how Jesus had appeared to them as they were walking along the road. And how he had recognized, they had recognized him as he was breaking the bread. That as we go back to tell others about him, we will not just share things from a hypothetical point of view, but we will share how he has opened our hearts and how we found our story in his story. So this sister, may your story, may my story be found in his story. And may we share our stories and what Jesus has done for each one of us. And may this also be a call for us to go out to the nations and to the lost, to those that have also been found, and tell them how we found our story, our identity in him, and how we want to invite them to find their story in his story, and through that become agents of the greater story. So may the Lord bless us this Easter. May we reflect on his goodness. May we reflect on his word. May we reflect with his people. And may this, all this draw us back to who he is. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Enjoy your Easter. Bye-bye.